Hi guys and girls, I'm Reef Man, and today I wanted to tell you about Vibrant. It's a allergy solution uh, marketed to cure sort of everything allergy related in your tank. Um, it says it brightens and cleans aquariums in as little as 12 hours. Um, it's a revolutionary liquid aquarium cleaner. Uh, say goodbye to allergy, cloudy water, et cetera, et cetera. Everything bad with your aquarium, this can fix supposedly. I've had problems in my tank with turf allergy. Um, or at least what I thought was turf allergy. We haven't been able to definitively identify it. Um, took it to a local reef club meeting. They looked at it with a microscope even. Got some awesome video of it, but um, best we can tell, some generic kind of turf allergy. It wasn't responding to vodka. I, I dose vodka in my tank. I don't have any other allergy problems. It's slow growing, pulls off in tufts. Was really not such a big nuisance, but I figured hey, uh, heard about this Vibrant stuff, let's give it a try and see what happened. So what I've been doing, um, Vibrant comes in just a bottle that has a normal kind of dripper top on it. You open it up and squirt out however much you want. It also comes with a little measuring cup. And in my tank, following directions online, what I ended up dosing was one milliliter per 10 gallons of system volume twice a week. So for my tank, that ends up being about 28 milliliters twice a week or every three days is what I did. Um, that was night and day different between not dosing Vibrant and after dosing Vibrant, as you can see. The allergy completely started receding. It wasn't immediate. It took maybe a couple weeks to really notice it really making a difference. But I noticed allergy was getting darker. It had some bubbles on it. Um, and just generally receding in the tank. I also noticed that my nitrate, which had always been slightly detectable, is now undetectable, which could be a problem long-term for my Acropora. Um, but I haven't noticed any major problems introduced by Vibrant. A couple of my Acropora frags did start to recede a little bit around the base. Uh, and this is after most of my allergy was gone. And so now I've switched to 28 milliliters once a week instead to try and taper off the Vibrant a little bit and see what that does to my allergy. I have noticed at that dose rate, the allergy is not disappearing as much. And in fact, some of it looks a little bit more lively than it did before. So I might end up kicking it back up just to get rid of that last little bit. But all in all, I would say Vibrant has really done a great job at cleaning up my tank. Some people do say that it doesn't work for them. Um, one pattern that I found just in reading threads on Vibrant was people who used GFO or Roafos or some sort of phosphate remover um, found that Vibrant didn't work as well for them. And when they removed the GFO from their system, Vibrant started to work almost immediately. So that could be that the bacteria that's in Vibrant, maybe it needs some phosphate. Well, I mean, any kind of bacteria would need phosphate to grow and do its job. Um, so I would maybe remove anything like phosphate remover that you have in your tank. That said, I do dose vodka every day and I have for a long time, I did not change that dosing schedule at all and found that Vibrant works just fine with that. Dosing twice a week in, with Vibrant I did notice my water got a little bit cloudy sometimes, uh, usually the day after I dosed, just ever so slightly and then it would clear up. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, definitely don't overdose your tank. The recommended dose for turf allergy, which is one milliliter per 10 gallons twice a week, I think is about the most you're gonna wanna do. Uh, people who overdo Vibrant t tend to have uh, more problems with coral or things dying in their tank. So that's definitely not something you wanna do. There is some question as to what is in Vibrant. Um, on the back of the bottle, it just says it's 95% cultured bacteria, and then 1% aspartic acid, 0.5% uh, half a percent vinegar, and 3.5% other stuff. Um, so it's probably some kind of bacteria that you're dosing. So you might be able to get the same thing from ProdBio or another one of these bacterial sources. But to that end, I have been dosing the um, Oh, and a bacteria that is supposed to get rid of nitrate and phosphate for you a little bit and did not notice the same effect that I had with Vibrant. Um, I haven't had any um, 
any threads or have come across any threads that were looking at Vibrant under a microscope. I think if you have one, that would be really interesting to see what's in there. Are they plant cells? There's some speculation that this might actually be a single-celled algae that we're dosing in our tank. Um, so I'd be really interested to know if you've looked at it under a microscope just to see, uh, are they bacteria cells? Are they plant cells? Um, maybe some identifying things that we might be able to see on a microscopic level in there. So that was it for this week. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I do want to say that this video and my tank and myself personally have no connection to Vibrant. I bought this myself. I wasn't provided any. Um, I bought a second bottle because it was working so well. Um, I just wanted to pass along the information for you. So let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to help you figure out the dosage for your tank. Um, and I will definitely update this if I find out more about what is in Vibrant. So I'll see you next week. Bye.